Uh, hello friends, it is Tim Kirby. Dimitri Kostin is back by popular demand. Uh, you guys asked me over and over that you wanted to have a serious expert come on and talk about the digital ruble, and guess what, Dimitri did. And now Dimitri, our sort of uh, issue number two, uh, which is a lot more vague, the digital ruble is very specific, and you had very specific answers about it to, to, to that question. But today's topic is a bit more vague. It's an overall topic plus some comments uh, from my channel. So the sure. overall topic is sort of bricks and the future of like the of economics. Now, one question that I was given privately because this person wanted to be sneaky, a uh, private question was sort of like, how can I explain this? They uh, are are, cons are are sort of wondering what are the actual plans that BRICS is working out like. Are the plans for the future of the economy secret? Are we going to have some sort of global currency? Where is this whole BRICS and economic development stuff going? Well, Kim, thanks, uh, first of all, for inviting me over on your channel. Uh, and uh, 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 let's try to dive into these questions. So the very first question is, uh, um, I guess I can break it into two parts the first part that my answer i can break into parts uh the first is what is kind of like BRICS economy overall and uh why do we need uh BRICS economy and the second uh question i guess is uh, has to do about the BRICS currency right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, why do we need the BRICS currency and uh, how is it gonna uh, benefit the uh, or, or why do we need it at all? So let's let's just let's just talk. Uh, the, the 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 way I see it, the the BRICS economy is uh, uh, shaping and forming as uh, as, a, as a, this is a more more or less as the answer to the uh, uni uh, or not, not even the answer or the the, the the counter argument for the unipolar the, the 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 construction of the unipolar world. Uh, enough mm -hmm. participants uh, don't like it. Uh, they may not be able to articulate why they don't like it, but they definitely uh, uh, intuitively understand uh, this is not something they, they want to do. And this is being expressed uh, in a, uh, uh, or maybe not the right word expressed, but being manifested uh, in many countries where with the material goods, Mm -hmm. the certain social the invasion of the certain social values is, is coming together oh, i so, think we know what those social values are they're very <laughs> rainbow colored i got it <laughs> okay. and, and those social values are not uh uh are not uh, being uh, uh accepted uh, by the by the by the by the people uh and uh more and more of the and and through this through this actual experience uh, what it comes, what it becomes uh, 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 transparent, or what 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 kind of forms as 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 an idea that it turns out that our material consumption is actually becomes we're we're hitting that stage where material consumption becomes associated with the uh, uh, with with ideas with the set of values mm -hmm. first of all transpired through the fashion but now it actually uh, is 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 getting it even into to politics so it's 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 a quite we're living through the quite through quite fascinating world where uh, we are getting into the environment of ideolo how would i say it in english ideolo geist or uh, the, the the consumption that becomes ideological oh that's, that's okay that's, that's what, what i'm trying to say so there is a set of ideas there is a perception of values people are no longer motivated by material things only there is a plenty of material things. Uh, some of them are good quality. Some of them may be less good quality, but good enough. Yeah. The, for uh, when there was a, a scarcity, real economic scarcity of the goods, then then the, the people were motivated by having more goods or less goods. We reached the stage where the the, the, the scarcity, the basic needs. I mean, at least in the Western uh, right uh, world uh, and and. For the most part, in the Asian worlds, uh, the, 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 the scarcity no longer exists. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. uh, the, the, the basic goods are covered. So what, what's the next level? So the next level was good, the, the fashion. So this is fashionable, this is less fashionable, this is prestige, this is less prestige, beauty, the forming the concept of the beauty uh, and maybe uh, having things that are not so beautiful. And that kind of worn out as well. And now we are uh, reaching the next uh, highs in terms of the uh, managing uh, the consumption through the uh, through the perception is uh, we're we're reaching the level of politics, and this is uh, the uh, we start uh, you know what what we call that we're getting into hybrid warfare's and uh, we start uh, engaging uh, all layers of forming the perception starting from the uh, forming the idea these are the bad guys these are the good guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh sanctions uh and uh you 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 name it and 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 this 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 actually brings a very interesting phenomena if you kind of abstract out uh from the uh, practical aspects of it uh it becomes very evident uh maybe not very evident but more and more evident that our perception uh, sorry, our consumption of, of the goods, it's, it's, it's formed by our perception. And our mm-hmm. perception sits on a set of set of value. So circling back to the uh, uh, to the uh, unipolar world, uh, when the uh, when the one set of value is being pushed down by uh, one entity and everyone else, of course, that's like uniformity and uh, mm-hmm. not and the people uh people uh pushed back against uniformity and this is the the idea of the multipolar world came as an as, as an alternative and uh the this is i mean aside from the values that are being pushed uh, through the uh, uh you know the the unilaterally by uh by uh one uh you know mega player also, the that the, those values are tightly connected to the uh, to the to the to the to the system, uh, the global system of governance, uh, to environment governance, such as. So what uh, you're saying is, so what you're saying is that sort of these uh, rainbow colored policies are very favorable to a globalized system. Well, I mean, let's 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 not kind of uh, 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 focus just on the rainbow color, the very specific and very uh, uh, polarizing subject. Okay, I, then I, how, I, about, how about this? So essentially the um, the Western uh, sort of what their mainstream, the mainstream media, the YouTube, sort of the, the, the mainstream sort of trend, cultural trends, including rainbow culture, um, is is very pro-globalist order. Is that, does that, is that what you're trying to say? No, what I'm trying to say that there is a there is a, a vector of global development that being formed by the uh, uh, by the fuse, right? By the by the by the few uh, entities, let's call mm-hmm. them this way, uh, and it's it's very subjective, uh, and that vector of global development now is uh, the those entities are tr- are effectively putting the task of how we uh how we make sure this vector of global development gets gets implemented whether you like it or not mm-hmm. and as a result of it uh this uh starts opening up all kinds of uh what's the right word uh, maybe not opening up uh, it starts uh contradicting so when I'm when I'm pushing certain agenda down, right? Mm-hmm. I, I have said the direction I'm putting pushing the, the agenda down. Uh, that agenda needs to be deployed, yeah. And with the deployment of this agenda, I'm running into some kind of frictions. First, I'm running on a social level those frictions. So I need to combat them. So I am starting to deploy all kinds of tools to 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 push the counter agenda. Some of the, the uh, maybe uh screen there's the smoke screen right mm-hmm. i mean the, the the diversion from the from the real issue uh to do you know to uh 
make people worry about things that are less important uh, and while I'm pushing the the things that are really matters uh, through and and uh, when I'm pushing the social values when I deploy the social concepts and when those social concepts become acceptable then on top of the social concepts I start building the framework of relations the the social relations and those social relations are then I'm deploying the framework of the uh, business relations and legislations. I'm based. I'm start uh, building the legislation that are favorable to me, uh, and uh, uh, those the, those framework legislations, uh, the business legislations uh, become the, the the laws, the regulations, and the framework of uh, uh, framework of the uh, business activity, and uh, that come to the to the practical application. And if I am if my goal is to build the the system in a such way that I am uh, in control of that system, right, unilaterally, I will build a, build it in a such way that 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 system opens up, like we discussed last time. Yeah. Uh, that all the all the control goes to me, and and uh, it's 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 one type of architecture. But if I am to uh, if I am to build the system with the multipolar uh, uh, values, right, or the, with the variety, or trying to to save it. It's a completely different set of values. It's a completely different set of architecture and completely different set of uh, uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. And this is this is, I mean, to to make it to make it uh, uh, kind of to 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 conclude. This this is what the the BRICS is trying to achieve. The BRICS is trying to counter the unipolar global world with multipolar global world, where the, 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 the there is a collective goal settings instead of the uh, unipolar goal setting, and this transacts into uh, into the system of governance, which is which is distributed. And also save the saves the, the the variety. I guess that's that's kind of where I'd but like do, to stop. But do they actually have some creative forces here? This kind of ties into the next question. Uh, someone asked me anonymously, but they asked it kind of long winded, so I'll sum it up. Basically, this person was kind of like, "Okay, we've lived under this Bretton Woods system, and we've had Davos and the Bilderberg Group, and we've had all these sort of um, uh, uh, manipulative globalist." Uh, uh, people sort of pulling the strings of the world economy and all that for quite some time. So he asked, well, so who exactly are the people creating our global future within BRICS? Is this like Putin and she themselves, or are they just sort of handing this off to some top economists? Who's really the people who are working out how we're going to be economically living in the near future? Uh, uh, what, uh, the, the, you're, you're talking with you're talking. You're, the, I guess the question is within the BRICS system. Yeah, yeah. Who's who's organizing all of this? It's it's too early to say. Uh, like the, uh, like the, the the specific names and so on because the structure is just being formed. The structure is being uh, just set up. There is a mm. there is a there is a uh, like for example in Russian federations there is a number of agencies number of committees number of associations are being formed uh, and the same actions are taking place in another countries mm -hmm. uh there is a cross uh, uh, uh the, 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 the there are cross uh referential uh, or cross uh, cross border uh, agencies then will be formed mm -hmm. and in a way uh this is trial and error right now uh because we never had uh, such a, uh such a, such, a, such experience in the past i mean we we have a uh, experience with the league of nations we had experience with united nations uh but never on a such uh much more uh intricate level of collaboration where not only you get together and discuss the political issues mm -hmm. you also transpire because like like mark said uh, politics is a concentrated form of economy mm -hmm. and what and and, and 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 you 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 transpire that 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 political layer of negotiations into uh completely new types of relationship this this multipolar relationships that uh 
uh, that that are uh, quite opposite to what the development in the in the rest of the world is taking place, where the the concept of the unipolarity like we discussed is 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 taking shape now i've personally heard this sort of talking point and i don't know if it's true or not but i keep hearing over and over again this idea that the BRICS countries well first off BRICS is going to expand i think that's not very conspiratorial i think that's probably going to happen after no, BRICS no, BRICS is going to expand yeah. there's three plus uh, countries here uh, applied and uh, you know the list is the list is will probably grow Go uh, ahead. Any, any idea when uh it's hard to say I okay it's, it's, well yeah, the thing is, is is sort of the, the the theory goes that first bricks gets bigger then there's going to be a brick big conference and then they go to the gold standard i've heard this from a few different people uh maybe most prominently uh, Cur uh colonel douglas mcgregor who uh provides a lot of interesting insight on the war in ukraine uh, but he mentions this and a few other notable people uh i know uh, dimitri you are not a fan of the gold standard and feel that that is something that needs to be left in the past but let's leave our personal feelings behind do you think that there's any chance that the BRICS nations are just going to say boom gold standard uh this is going to be the solution to all of our problems well first of all gold standard is an old idea an old concept and uh i think all the prominent and even not the prominent economists i mean majority of the economists understand and know this uh for a number of reasons that i'm not going to list it right now but there is what the reason why people going back back to the concept of the gold standard is let me start with the idea with the phrase that was once well but that is attributed to confucius not confucius sorry uh Sinophon. Mm -hmm. Sinophon. Sinophon, uh the philosopher said uh, that if the horses uh would be able to draw they would draw the god to look like horse ah uh. this is the challenge of the today's world that we are thinking in the uh constructs in uh that are that we generate automatically right the, 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 through the automatic system of thought. since you mean we're stuck in ideas that are familiar to us maybe Hello? right okay right 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 uh and what what i'm trying to maybe in a, a, a somewhat difficult way to emphasize that we need to go back to the system of person not even to the system of values to the system of, to, 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 the, to the perception model and we need to work from the perception model we, we need to make changes there uh and to create new new uh view and then and then translate that new view into the uh new system of values and from the system of values completely new uh system of uh business and economic relationships the old system of uh values and system of economic relationships no longer works mm -hmm. this is this is why we call the systemic crisis but it's 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 a, it's a systemic crisis on a very high level um the in the russian word is mirovazrinsky a level maybe you can help me out with the Mirvazrenia right. is sort of like your global world view of things it's it's higher than world view it's 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 what is above the view uh it's it's oh boy it's... <laughs> what, 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 what forms what forms the view right what oh, makes the, the view to be to be to be to be such i am struggling oh, man that's uh, that that's that's a tough one i i kind of right. understand what and, you mean but i don't and quite this know is, how to and express this it. is the crisis and let me let me just kind of give you some yeah. of the ideas that we all adjusted uh, sorry we all uh um uh, used to the idea of economic growth thinking of the economic growth as an addition mm -hmm. the more you have the better yeah and uh, and uh, uh from the economic uh, uh theory the, we're we're uh currently living in an extensive economic model uh where uh you you can, can you where you grow by adding we we have to switch today to the instant uh, intensive economic model i'm speaking in very simple trying to, to speak in very simple terms uh uh intensive that means that you have to grow by uh reconstructing 
you have to you have to live within your about you you have to like your economy is bound by the what you have but the growth needs to be uh, uh, achieved through the reconstructing of uh, optimization and reconstructing of the internal workings of the economy mm -hmm. uh, and, and 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 get the, the that growth uh, and get the, the 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 growth that way because we are the the reason uh, for such requirement is we are the global economy there is no more open markets that we can capture and we can add on mm -hmm. we are uh rubbing the, the shoulder against uh guys in equal powers mm -hmm. so the 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 growth through the destruction is no longer works in the best case scenario the gr growth through the competition and through the uh, uh uh through the through the through the fights in the in the best case scenario will give you zero sum game but most likely it will give you the negative growth well, yeah, so it seems like uh, uh, now we're talking about something I know a lot more about, which is war. Uh, if we go into sort of the 20th century, we can see that war just gets more and more and more expensive uh, with without really yielding very much. I mean, if you think it, about it, exactly. if you live in a feudal society and you're able to essentially expand your kingdom by 50 percent and pending the serfs there don't have they don't have like a 19th century mentality about nationality and who they are. They just kind of see they're ruled by someone else. They continue to be serfs. Essentially, you've increased your value by 50%. Again, pending they don't rebel. That does not work in the modern era. Like, you know what I mean? If Russia right. increased its physical size by 10% by crushing, say, Poland and Germany, and those people there would hate Russia and work night and day to fight against it, that would not increase Russia, Russia's wealth by 12, by 10%. It's a completely different ball game. So yeah, this uh, it's, right. so it's become right. completely economically unviable to fight for the most part. Right, right. So right. Uh, so not only you are unable to gain the the markets through the fight, you're also unable to gain uh, the markets through the uh, through the maybe uh, through the economic uh, uh, advances. Mm -hmm. it, it became very difficult because. Really, the markets, the the way we 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 knew, like uh, un, uh, 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 empty markets are gone. There is no yeah. more there. Uh, so so this this concept of the uh, uh, competition and free market uh, forces, invisible hand, all of this no longer works. Yeah. And what we have to do, we have to come up we well, into uh, into in, we, we're coming into an environment where we have to because of the uh, because of the uh, interconnections, everyone with everyone, we have to. We, we came to the situation where we have to plan. Uh, we have to uh, design the growth, mm -hmm. uh, where we have to sit down and start agreeing on the parts how the growth will be performed. It's it's what used to be done uh, within the company right the company would get together and uh, uh basically it tries to design how they plan to grow uh and, and continue and, and and so on now the same exactly logic applies to uh the forces that are outside like the oh, yeah. it used to but both i'm saying yeah but we'll remember both within a company you have a dictatorship there if you don't do what you're told, the boss fires you. Whereas if right. a Vietnam doesn't want to make shoes anymore, what can you do? They don't want to make shoes. Or are you talking about something different? No, no, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, 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 we have to... Uh, the, you're hitting on a very important point. The The idea of uni unipolarity of the world is is such that uh, it's, it's projecting the existing uh, corporate structure into the world and say, if Vietnam doesn't want to make shoes, I'm going to fire him. I'm going to cancel him. Mm. I'm going to sanction him. I'm going to wipe out the Vietnam or Russia or Cuba or God yeah. knows what else out of the faith of the economy. Forget about it. Let's get them back to the to the to the Stone Age. And that concept no longer works. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you you upset one country, you upset another. You upset you upset a third country. You cancel you cancel one, two, three, and eventually you you become the cancelled one. Uh, and you, the, 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 it, it is obvious that this unipolarity, while it's it's uh, while it, it is kind of easy way of uh, deploying the same model by uh, 
uh, by projection onto the world, it doesn't work. The world requires a completely different model. The, the world requires if, he, if if Vietnam doesn't want to make shoes, well, you have to live with it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to you have to figure out what Vietnam wants to do in order for Vietnam to be happy, mm -hmm. or in order to Vietnam to to be active participant. Mm -hmm. And 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 this requires uh, 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 and, and this 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 uh, uh, charges or uh, enables. Uh, completely different uh, forces, uh, the social values, the the forces of social values, the the forces of uh, will, desires, and we have to be able to. In, we have to we have to be able to construct the the, the 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 like an engineering like like an engineers socially construct those those uh, forces together in order so that they transpire into collaborative work in the material war in, in the material producing material values mm -hmm. that's 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 the reality and that's that's what uh, the you know the uh, uh the bricks is trying to uh, to achieve in the, and in one the, person in the... asked sort of about a uh, question about them here the progress of it so where are they at with this progress i mean uh, it's one of these things where uh, all these ideas that you're saying are the kind of ideas that excite me it's the kind of world that i think uh we've been uh wanting to live in for a long time but where are we at with this are these just nice feelings we... or is there no, actual no, 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 like, processes being started here you mentioned some committees are being formed and stuff and working groups right. but uh you know dimitri uh as a uh, someone who was never a uh, a big fan of being uh in uh, big offices and big companies and all that uh, i've seen that most committees and organizations they don't do much there's a lot of talking and nice suits and not a lot of action you know so what's the actual status of this this in, uh, big assignment uh, that BRICS uh, has in on its plate? I agree with you, with your assessment that uh, very often uh, those committees and those, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, associations and so on, those, those structures uh, no longer works. Mm. This is trial and error. This is mm. going to be a learning curve uh first you start with what you know and what you understand and you form those uh structures the way you um, you know them and and the way the way uh, you are accustomed this is your starting point of course mm. uh but eventually i think it will be transpiring to uh something very different something to which which we call the, the it services uh, distributed architecture Mm -hmm. uh, something into what is called in a business environment a uh, decentralized system of governance uh, something what is called in a, a high level of uh, 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 governance is uh, environmental governance what what is environmental governance uh, when you uh, when you manage the multiple scenarios by setting the the environment in a such a way that uh, uh, any of the outcomes uh, that, that that can happen within that uh, that uh, that set of uh, uh, values or set of uh, conditions is is good enough to you for you uh it's a think of it as a, as a template governance you set up the template and within the template any of the scenarios that works out like multiple myriads of them who knows how it's going to work out uh, uh, but it's sufficient enough because they don't go outside of the template. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what environment governance is, and those are absolutely uh, new types of uh, new types of uh, systems of management that they need to be built. Mm -hmm. But you have to you have to start from somewhere. So we're starting from the traditional forms, from the directive forms of governance, and we will uh, uh, work out ourselves to. We have the vision, and we will work out ourselves to the, you know, multipolar to the to the global uh, distributed uh, uh, governance model. Now we have another question here that I'm going to also kind of twist to make it uh, fit our discussion a little bit. Let's say right now um, we're we're seeing that the world is changing. 
the sanctions uh-huh. put against Russia have kind of blown back, blown back on the West. The unipolar world is falling apart. If you are an American or, say, a Canadian citizen somewhere in the West, right, and you're making uh, somewhere around the average income, again, let's just say in America that's about $60,000 a year uh, before taxes, what should this person do? Should they just sit there and keep working? Is there some way they should protect their finances? Um, you know, what's uh, what should this average person do? Or are they sort of helpless in this big wave of history that's just going to come forward and wash everyone about? What should they do? <laughs> I, uh, you asked a very tough question. Uh... Uh, well, that's why you're here, because I'm not the economic expert, my friend. You're you're the one who's been in uh, many uh, different yeah. working groups. Your resume is one of the most impressive I've ever seen. So that's why that's why the tough questions go to you, because I don't have I, much I, of an answer yeah, yeah. for people, you know. Yeah, uh, I can give you the <laughs> yeah, I can give you this uh, the most uh, what I think is the most simple answer. But as they say it in a in a in a in a performances uh, or in the in the circus, don't try it at home. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the most simple answer is buy, buy Bitcoin. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Yes. Whoa. Uh, no. I oh. am. I do not believe uh, that gold uh, will will be the key component of the new economy. Mm-hmm. Uh, because the process, and maybe you can help me with uh, uh, with my English uh, translation, what what is happening right now? We are going through this transitional phase, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, this transitional phase, well, where we're saying that the the views, the highest the philosophical model, is changing how we we perceive things, mm-hmm. and uh, as part of that change of the philosophical model, uh, the concept of money is changing. And through the concept of the money, we're we're we're, we're coming to realize that money were a uh, What uh, сказать? How would you say it in in, in English? A предмечены. Uh, to turn uh, to oh my god, it would be to sort of liquidate the assets into material things. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you like the opinions coming out of my big fat mouth, then uh, join up on my Telegram channel. That's Tim Kirby Hardcore on Telegram. Link, of course, in the description.